And of course, you did go to Liverpool at a point in your career. But why don't you think it panned out entirely for you? How do you reflect back on that period? I reflect on it as, a, as positive. I never, I don't, I'm not a negative person. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, you know, Rafa Benitez wanted to play a, di- a different way. I've got no problem with him at all. Uh, I think he's a good manager, tactically very, very good. Um, but for me, you know, he liked, he liked to play the midfield, Stevie behind Torres. And, and listen, the two of them were unbelievable uh, together. So I had no problem with that. Like I've mentioned many times before is that uh, for me, it's all about playing football. And it doesn't matter where I am. I, I, I don't do it for the money. I do it for the love of the game. So I don't wake up every Saturday morning and look forward to sitting on the bench. I wake up on a Monday, look forward to training, Tuesday training, and then you know, building up to the game on the Saturday. So, of course, there's times where you, you, you don't play. But if you don't play as regularly as you'd like to, uh, I'm not that kind of guy that likes to sit, sit on the bench too long. So I just want to play, as, as I mentioned before. And that was the, that was the reason why. I left, but I certainly enjoyed my time there. It was a great club, as you know, um, one of the one of the greatest clubs in you know in the history of the game, and and, and you know I'm honoured to have the opportunity to put that jersey on. One question which always crops up nowadays is Virgil Van Dijk: Is he as good as your Rios, your Vidic's, your Stams, etc.? What's your take on where Virgil Van Dijk stands? Uh, he's he's definitely, definitely up there. Definitely, he's got everything. He's he's uh, unbelievable in the air in both areas. Uh, very, very comfortable with the football. Um, brilliant defender, one-on-one defender. Uh, always in control of the situation. Uh, so for me, you know, he's definitely going to go down, um, even now, as, as, as one of the great uh, defenders. Uh, the, the players you mentioned there, you know, I had the pleasure of playing with, you know, Rio Ferdinand, who was, a, it was very similar in terms of he never looked like uh, he was struggling. He was always in control of the situation. Uh, and like Virgil, a Rolls-Royce defender, Rio is the same. Um, and Virgil has been been different class. I think he, he's been the difference, you know, uh, in the last few years in terms of where Liverpool, Liverpool are. So uh, he's certainly top, top player.